about your mindset as you get ready to, to compete in nationals? Um, I'm definitely very focused. I think I want to do some big things for Kentucky. I think we all want to be all American and get Kentucky, get Kentucky on the bo the border, not the border, the board, and um, just get our name out there and do the best we can. Does anything change in your your approach or in how you're training as you get ready for a, a big meet like this? Um, well, this year everything has changed with the new coaching staff, and we're just doing a lot more, and it's more intense. And you know, they they definitely help like for a race, like they get you, they give you a goal, like what they think you can do, and um, I think that helps a lot because I'm very goal oriented and um, going into the race having a plan. I think that helps a lot, and just trying to execute that to the best of our ability. What's what's the last month been like for you? With the PRs, and the school records, and um, all that stuff. It's been awesome. Um, I can't thank the coaching staff enough because I definitely have to give them a lot of credit for it. And um, but you know, I'm just go out there every day, try my best, and that's the real success for me. You had West with a target on your back now. Yes. Yeah, I mean, just talk about that. You know, um, I just try to keep it fun, have fun with it, and as long as I'm liking what I'm doing and trying my best, like whatever happens is going to happen. But I definitely I want to do some big things out there. So. You guys get ready for the national championship. Has anything changed in the approach and how you go about things? Well, with the new coaches, everything is different now. Um, last year it was only three of us. Now it's ten people going to national, so it's definitely different. Now we're there to win, to get all Americans, to make it to the finals, and just to do the best we can this year. Represent the University of Kentucky as well as we can. Are the the emotions different leading up to it because it's a big event. Does it feel different? Oh yeah. Well, going to nationals and more for distance runners, Eugene, Oregon is like you know the mecca of distance running, so it feels great. And I know the atmosphere for for the race is gonna be incredible. So we're all very excited to go there and be be part of that important race. How different is the mindset with the new coaching staff tonight and still this year? Well, it's completely different. Like. Now it's all about winning, performing well, doing good, running fast, running more. And that's definitely, you can see the change now. We're all doing way better than last year. We're doing more miles, we're working harder, we're training twice a day and stuff like that, things that, that we were not doing last year. So this team is definitely going forward and getting better and better every day. And I'd say two, three years from now, we're going to be an incredible team and probably or maybe one of the best teams at the SEC level. Can you just talk about what the change in the program has been like from last year? The change in the program from this from this year and last year is definitely the atmosphere, the coaching staff, the the team bonding, just being able to know that someone's supporting you other than just your your immediate, your immediate teammate. So I think that was definitely the difference for me this year. What's your mindset going into national? Um, I didn't really change anything. I feel like all year I've raced against some of the top competitors in the nation. So I just know that I have to go out and do work. Is that tough to do? I mean, because you're young, you're probably excited about it. Is it <laughs> tough to stick to the same thing? No. Coach Flo has definitely prepared us for this moment. What has he done to prepare everybody to get their mindset for this? He's taken us to some of the biggest meets of the year, Texas relays, pin relays, and he's put us in that, that predicament that, you know, it's thousands of fans out watching you. What are you going to do to perform? So I think that that was the main thing for us, him putting us in those positions to be able to handle nationals in Eugene. Talk about the emotions leading up uh, into the nationals and kind of how you're feeling. Um, to be honest with you, I thought this year was uh, uh, kind of a rough road. Um, I wasn't really throwing as far as I did last year. Last year was kind of like my big freshman successful year. Got the school record and then got the freshman record on top of that. And uh, this year is kind of like a slow go just because of injuries and stuff. So um, kind of the I was really thinking that I needed to throw the exact same marks to get on. So I try to remember what I kind of did last year to get on to this year. Um, a lot of new technique uh, went into this year. The new coaching style and everything changed immensely. Um, the last coach kind of 
he worked with what I had and kind of made me better that way. But uh, the new coaching staff has really made me a better jab thrower and what technique I actually need to throw far. So everything's been kind of changing up on me. So it's been a slow road, but uh, hey, man, I'm here again. So it's kind of an exciting road. What can you tell about the change just around the program within your coaches? In this oh, so many things. I think just the team atmosphere. Uh, for one, I think they're uh, really team oriented, trying to get us all together. That's the uh, biggest thing, I think. Um, a lot of new recruits are coming in, so I think that's also really exciting for the team, knowing that there's a lot of new faces coming in. Um, a lot of good coaching, I would say. Uh, not that the old coaching wasn't bad, but the new coaching was uh, a little more, uh, how should I say it? without, uh, you know, down on the other guys. But basically, it put them in a competitive mode. They wanted to win. They wanted everyone to do really well. So they really pushed everyone a lot harder than the old guys did, I think. Um, basically, I think the whole team atmosphere in general has just been boosted. So, you know, guys have been going out. I think they actually want to go out and win races instead of, you know, this is just another race. Let's go out and win this one, right? So a lot of things have kind of changed like, changed like that. As someone who's never really seen anything but a track UK, what, what are they missing? What are they missing if they can come out and watch you guys perform? Oh, well, actually, you know, the track atmosphere is a lot different. I know for the Javelin, um, in high school, that's not really done. So uh, if you come out, watch some javelin, that'd be cool. All the other events, it's at a collegiate level. And uh, I think being in the SEC is uh, kind of like the biggest thing that I can tell you guys. You know, you watch SEC basketball or SEC football, while well, SEC track and field is just the exact same. You know, they put us in here because we're at the elite level as the, all the other teams. So, you know, you're gonna get elite athletes, right? So that goes to show you how in one year we went from bringing three guys to NCAAs all the way to uh, I think we have 10 athletes now, right? So I think it's only going to be building as each year progresses. So I welcome everyone to come out to the track.